We need to make sure that we are developing the next generation of leaders within the business. But if they can't or won't handle the responsibilities correctly, we may have to look at other options. Stephen Harrington Dakota, the diva of insurance and performance coach here at Agency Performance Partners. Wanted to spend a couple of minutes today just talking about succession planning and leadership transition for family-run insurance agencies and the challenges that that can face, as well as some of the possible solutions. I want to make sure that we are going into this with a clear mind, that we are taking a step back and trying to remove emotion as much as possible because a lot of times it gets very emotional when we're dealing with family. It can become complicated because there is different dynamics. There's different levels of involvement within the agency. There's egos and expectations that are put in place. The dynamic, again, can swing greatly from person to person. So we wanna make sure that we're choosing the right person or people to take over the agency we want to objectively evaluate each family member's skills and capabilities and commitment to the business. And sometimes we have to remember the most qualified candidate might not actually be a family member. And we want to make sure that we are addressing the issue in a non-confrontational way where people can be open and honest and heard, but that we are dealing with it very strategically. So a lot of times a consultant gets brought in or a third party gets brought in to talk with each member of the family, listen to the conversations, work with best practices and establish guidelines for how that acquisition or transition should look or the succession should look. We also wanna make sure that if we are coming up with a plan where we are moving family along that we're doing it because they are the right fit for the position, not just because they're the oldest or they've been there the longest or we promised them. And that can be a difficult conversation as well, right? We need to make sure that we are developing the next generation of leaders within the business. But if they can't or won't handle the responsibilities correctly, we may have to look at other options. And we want to make sure that we're staying updated with emerging trends. And we want to make sure that we're keeping an open mind in what's happening. And we need to set up a timeline. We need to be very clear in what does the timeline look like for the succession? What is the financial implications for each member of the family look like? Who's going to get what? Who's going to do what? We need clearly defined roles for each person that's going to be involved in the business. And we also need to establish guidelines for those that might just have a financial stake in the agency. Maybe they are a silent partner. It's a family member that gets some equity, but they don't get to be involved in the day-to-day -day operation of the agency. But we might still need to do some audits or other things to make sure that the money's being handled correctly. We need to make sure that we have a strong leader at the helm that can discuss with the family what's happening. And we want to make sure we're protecting the assets of the corporation as well as the livelihood of the corporation by not just filling in a person that may or may not be qualified for that role. If you have additional questions or want to talk to us more, feel free to book some time with us. We're happy to review alternatives with you as well as we have the agency assessment, which we work with agencies on structure, roles and responsibilities, and what are some compensation plans that might be successful for the agency. I look forward to talking to you again soon.